Hey what's up and welcome back to Easy Unreal. Today we are taking a look at Landscape Pro 2.0, a powerful and free tool that just got a massive upgrade, making it even more optimized for open world maps. If you are working on a large scale environment in Unreal Engine, this could be a huge time saver. Before we dive in, if you are into Unreal Engine tips, tricks and game design insights, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow and you'll never miss a new video. And if you are just getting started with game design make sure to grab my free ebook getting started with a game design a beginner's handbook it's about 60 pages long and packed with useful info to help you build a solid foundation in game development you can download it for free using the link in the description all right, uh, let's uh, get into it. The first thing we want to do is to go to the Fab Marketplace and over here search for this Landscape Pro Auto Generated Material. I will put the link in the description and uh, just click Add to the Project. If you have any problems adding this to the project, uh, sometimes the Fab Marketplace is glitchy and you will have a problem. It will download it like for uh, one second and nothing will happen. If you have the problem, check out this video. It will fix that. I hope and if you don't have this problem then uh, let's go uh, we'll go back to our third person map and over here after the download finishes you will see this stf so click it and go over here in this folder and you can see the base environment and maps i will dig straight into maps so we can easily uh, test this and check it how it works you can see this open world test map and test map over here we can just go with the open world just double click it to open it up after the loading time we are now here in the our landscape we have this warning it will be something like this and if you expand it you can just click rebuild and it will be just fine if we go f11 to full screen you can check out how this looks super super awesome and don't forget to write a review of course and give it a five star rating because this asset is just a life-saving asset for all your scenes that include forests like this so if i go for example and hit right uh, mouse button and play from here you can see that this looks absolutely astonishing let's go f11 back and let's stop this uh, so let's uh, check out the features of this awesome uh, material so to do that we go to the landscape first and over here make sure that you are in a sculpt and in the sculpt mode and the good thing is that if you sculpt this you can see how this environment is changing the good thing is that you can sculpt beneath your uh, trees and you can see how they automatically adapt to your environment so you can uh, make some valleys you can make some uh, close the lakes and something like that and it will look awesome and of course you can just hit uh, play from here and you will be good this is one good thing let's move to another this is a paint so you can just go over here on the right side and click paint and if you scroll a little bit down you can see all these layers here and now if you choose for example the first layer and choose to paint with this layer let me go a little bit closer you can paint like this and completely change the background although this is a pretty similar so i'll choose this layer and you can immediately see the difference uh, between uh, the plants here and the plants and vegetation over here let's change let's check out the third layer and this is a little bit different and you can see this layer here and we have lots and lots of layers here it says no plants so you can easily remove plants by using this layer one no plants layer two no plants and let's check out the layer four and layer seven you can check out a layer three with a puddles we can add some puddles very easily very quickly and you can see the puddles they are looking super awesome i mean this is just you know is super 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 cool uh, let's say we want to add a lake over here so what we want to go, go to sculpt press uh, shift on your keyboard and make some lake shape and now we will put a lake inside if we go to the selection tool or shift one we can go and click on this uh, plane it's just a simple plane that uh, has this material element ocean shader applied to it so why not let's go add a plane hit here go to shape go to plane and we have a plane make it uh, super big and let's put it here and all we need to do is to apply material to our lake a very quickly way to find out where your material is we can 
check out this environment, foliage, procedural foliage, base, material functions, but you can also click this uh, plane, go to materials here and click uh, browse to M ocean shader and it will automatically browse you to all these materials that contains water. And you can see that it's under uh, environment, landscape and water. And we all we need to do is just drag and drop this here. And we will have the same water here and here. Also, we can change this just dragging and dropping to change the water, how it looks and it looks just fine. And we have our lake here. Uh, the next thing we want to add is uh, we want to add some trees over here and remove these uh, existing trees. So to do that, we will go to the foliage tool. So go up here and foliage or shift plus three, select it, go a little bit down. You can see it already has prepared for us lots of foliage here. So if you choose the first tree, select it and make sure to enable this blue uh, check mark. And if we go here and we can click and drag to paint but it's a little dense, so we'll undo this and we will go up and change the paint density here to 0.1, for example, and let's go with a bigger brush size and let's go now. And now if you paint, you can see that you can paint your trees here. It's a little bit too much, so we'll go 0.09 and we can add some trees. Uh, if you want, you can also add some stones. So unclick this tree and select, for example, this stone. It's very easy to add some rocks, stones, and you can see how they look awesome. You can add this one a little bigger, for example, here on the shore, and we can add some bushes, trees, and so on. Let's add this tree, for example. As you can see, those trees are a little bit small, so we need to increase the size. So let's go increase here by 10, by 10. And now if you click, we have some nice big trees. Now they are too big, but they are look awesome. So we can just reduce this density to, for example, 20. And now if we draw our trees, and now if we draw, we can draw these trees around our lake and so on and so on. And you can see that this looks absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend this Landscape uh, Pro 2.0 auto generated material uh, to use for your scene. It will uh, save you a lot and lots of time. And uh, this is it. If you find this helpful, uh, let me know in the comments below, drop some likes and uh, thanks for watching. See you in some other video. Bye bye.